We are often exposed to articles that are discussing what were the best graphics and the most influential cards throughout history. But what about those that were commonly played on, those that regular folk used to the max of their capacity? To find answers, we scoured through the last 15 years of Steam survey results and assembled the stats. Due to the unsteady nature of the Steam survey, we had to devise means to homogenize this data. We took the top three discrete graphics cards for each available month and assigned points accordingly. These are the ones that are the top 10 most popular graphics cards. Number 10 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 This card launched in January of 2015 to replace GTX 760 and ultimately knock it out of this list. As a matter of fact, GTX 760 is in the 11th place. It took some time to propagate the GTX 960 to the top, but once it got there, it remained somewhere in the top 3 for 2.5 years. Significantly cheaper than the GTX 970, while maintaining proportionate performance, it was a good catch. Number 9 ATI Radeon HD 4800 series For the most part, we had collective data for two cards that are part of the series, Radeon HD 4850 and HD 4870. Released in 2008 to compete with NVIDIA's 8000 and 9000 series. And with their great price performance ratio, they did just that. Marking an era where ATI held nearly 40% of the market, according to a Steam survey, once again. Both of the two cards available were a great deal and were a popular choice to pair in Crossfire as well. We will show more of the HD 4870 performance in one of our upcoming videos. As it's observable by now, not every spot is populated by a singular card. This is due to the nature of the Steam survey and how it collects the data, and confusing name schemes from chip designers. We will clarify for each spot which card fits into each group. Number 8 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 Mid-range card released in 2012 offered a great deal in terms of performance and affordability. Due to multiple factors such as long-lasting console generations impact on the market, this card was fairly relevant until a few years back. It enjoyed 9 long years of driver support before it was deprecated in 2021. You can find out more about its performance in our 2012 mid-range gaming PC video. Number 7 NVIDIA GeForce 9800 Continuation and arguably stagnation on a well-paved path put by the 8000 series, GeForce 9800 cards were highly popular. There were multiple cards with this name, with GT, GTX, GTX Plus and Dual GX2, all based on the legendary G92 chip first seen in the 8800 GT. Surprisingly, these cards stay relevant even though Nvidia released the next generation in the same year, with the GTX 200 series, topping the Steam survey charts for more than a year, most likely due to their cut down price. Number 6 Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650 Although a bit of a spoiler, it's no surprise that this is the youngest card of the bunch. Released in 2019 as part of the budget segment of NVIDIA's Turing generation. It was also updated in the same year with the Super variant, which has much improved performance. In the end, this was the card that knocked the reigning champion off of its throne. Widely used today, it still has a chance for a better spot on this list in the future. Number 5 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 Ti Launched in January of 2011, six short months after its market spot predecessor GTX 460, it showed significant performance improvement. It was a go-to choice for the performance segment for almost two years until GTX 660 was released and earned a spot lower on our list. There are two different versions of this card, with GF114-400-A1 and GF100 chips. Number 4 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 The GeForce GTX 970, launched in September of 2014, is a high-performance graphics card from the Maxwell generation. This card was marketed to have 4GB of VRAM, which sparked a controversy since it actually had 3.5GB and 512MB at lower speed. The problem is that when a card loads more than 3.5GB of data, performance goes over the cliff since the remaining 512MB are much slower. This resulted in the class action lawsuit against NVIDIA, which was settled in 2016. Other than that small problem, this card was a great choice, as its performance and power usage are both terrific. It stayed at the top of the Steam survey charts from 2015 to 2017 until the reigning champion knocked it down. Number 3 NVIDIA GeForce 8800 This one is basically cheating, as there are 7 cards with this name, the first one being released in 2006. 
4 with older G80 and 3 with newer G92, the chip that was the core for the GeForce 9800 cards. When 8800 GTX cards entered the fray, they changed the game and how we perceive graphics cards. Similarly to today's RTX 4090, but arguably to a higher magnitude, they were the pinnacle of gaming cards. You can see the two of these in SLI action in our debut video 2006 Ultimate Gaming PC build. A year later, the 8800 GT with the G92 chip was released, getting mid-range buyers amazing performance for a fraction of the cost. We covered that one in our 2007 mid-range gaming PC build. These were topping the Steam survey chart since the program started and stayed there for a long time until 2012. Number 2. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Our first card from the Pascal Microarchitecture on the list, and one of the rare ones with only one variation. It arrived in the top 3 in 2018 and it remained there until last year. With 4GB of VRAM and decent performance, it was a fair deal. Global events that shall remain unnamed, the last crypto boom, and ships getting stuck in the tightest places all contributed to the recent GPU shortage. And that shortage solidified the GTX 1050 Ti as one of the most popular cards in history. When you couldn't buy anything else, 1050 Ti was there for a jacked up price, but you could still game on it. This card made the worst of times better for a lot of you, and it rightfully takes its place on this list. Nvidia rules this market, that's undeniable. There aren't many AMD cards on this list, only one series, and that series doesn't include the most popular card from AMD. So we scoured data for the most popular AMD card, and that is our honorable mention number one. AMD Radeon RX 580. This absolute legend of a card from 2017 was released in direct competition with our reigning champion, so you know it was to fight an uphill battle. AMD seemingly abandoned the market until the release of RDNA cards, but Polaris cards, led by RX 580, held the line. Still to this day, it is the most popular AMD card on Steam Survey. The card that we present here is a fighter in its own right, surviving multiple PSU fails, being dropped, and years of heavy use. We already mentioned that the Steam Survey wasn't always showing easily comprehensible data. For years, reports contained a huge number of integrated graphics at the very top of the charts. Even though the discrete card was present, the integrated one was always reported, bumping up the numbers. That brings us to our honorable mention number two, Intel HD graphics. Propelled to the top, Intel HD Graphics 3000 and 4000 would easily take the top spots on our list. But still, people did play on one of these graphics on their laptops or their cheap PC builds. We cannot know the exact number, but they do deserve the mention. And finally, we go to our number one, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. If you followed the market at any point in the last 7-8 to eight years, or noticed the clues we left earlier, you saw this one coming. Our second Pascal card, first released in 2016, this card is easily beating the previous generation's higher tier GTX 970. Once it took the first place on the Steam survey chart, it held it firmly until last year, when GTX 1650 took it away. Seven years later, in the November of 2023 Steam survey, it stands proudly as number three. There are two major versions of this card, the original with 6GB and another with 3GB. This naming scheme is misleading, as with different chips and different stats, those are two completely different cards. Both versions of GTX 1060 are fairly decent to use even today, with only the newest performance-heavy games being out of reach. You can see the 3GB version in action when we used it as an upgrade in our 2012 mid-range gaming PC video. So those are the cards, but how do they perform? We wondered the same thing, so we assembled a test bench and took them for a ride. And we got the results from most of them. Some of the cards were semi or completely faulty, so we got partial or older test data from them. We opted to use only one card variant from each spot on our list, the one you saw in the footage for each spot. On charts, you'll see the driver, year release, and starting MSRP of the card, so you get a better picture of the time price performance scale. Crisis didn't run for NVIDIA drivers after version 5.16.94 for any of the cards. So we had to stick to this version for cards that support newer drivers.
In the end, it was the GTX 1060 that has shown the best performance in the top 10 cards roundup. The most popular MD card RX 580 shows why it is so popular in the first place, while its coil whine is more apt being called coil scream. Perhaps RX 580, GTX 1060 and 1650 could show even better performance with faster processors, but that is not the target of this project. We got the data we wanted. And the data is promising, and we're happy to see that's the case. Every time we assemble high-end builds, we conclude that mid-range made much more sense, regardless of the period from which that computer build hails. From what we observed, most people do live by that mantra, the best bang for the buck is the way to go. This project was quite different from our usual ones, and different made it more fun for us. We hope you share a similar sentiment. See you around!